Passive skill tattoos are an awesome new feature that was added in Path of Exile 322 Trial of the Ancestors. And now, in a surprise update, we're getting some really cool new skill tattoos. There's the new Journey Tattoo archetype and a couple of very powerful ones I'll talk about at the end. So first up, Journey Tattoo of the Mind. 30 to maximum mana per allocated Journey Tattoo of the Mind. It replaces 20 dexterity, sorry, 30 dexterity notables on your passive skill tree. So just coming into PoE here for one minute, something like agility gets replaced. Luckily, a lot of mana stackers are up over here. So you get alacrity, agility, and expertise. Next up, we've got Journey Tattoo of the Soul. Works the same way, but replaces Intelligence with Energy Shield. This one is a little bit less useful to me. On the one hand, you get the more powerful bonus of the 40 base being multiplied by increases to maximum Energy Shield. On the other hand, you don't really get access to easy Intelligence nodes up at the top of the tree, which is where a lot of Energy Shield builds are. But if you're doing this on, say, an ES stacking Juggernaut, all of a sudden this becomes a very compelling offer. Then Journey Tattoo of the Body, 25 to maximum life for each one allocated. And again, this is strength nodes, which works really well with how the tree lays out. Because you have strength here on beef, you have strength here on prowess, and strength here on physique. Most of the builds that lack life are right over here in the tree. And since it's per, think about this. 25 from one, 50 each from two for a total of 100. 100 each from four for a total of 400. And if you could somehow stretch your tree to get five, that would be insane. I don't think five is realistic or reasonable. You're probably going to max out at four, taking those three. Most builds will probably only use two. Remember, you can anoint them, but it's a significant cost to do so. I do think in a lot of cases, having that plus 400 life is absolutely worth the anoint. If your build scales off it, maybe you're a sacrifice build. But if your build does not scale off maximum life, you might only get one or two of these, giving them a nice but fairly niche effect. Then next up, we have Honored Tattoo of the Makanaga. And oh boy, it requires eight adjacent passive skills to be allocated. But because it can go on any small attribute, it leaves room for a lot of abuse with the unique Crimson Jewel, a warrior's tail, that doubles the effect. So plus two all max res. You come over to the tree. You put it here. There are eight adjacent nodes that you can allocate. Then up here, you put another one that has seven adjacent nodes. This would not work for plus two max res, but would work for something like cooldown recovery rate. All of a sudden, you are doubling it with Warrior's Tail. You're getting 16% increased cooldown recovery rate and 4% all maximum resistances, which is an absurd level of value. I expect this to be a very expensive and powerful tattoo. A lot of builds are going to use it. There are a couple of other places in the tree where you can put it, but this is by far the best due to its overlap with so many good nodes. Like, Recoup, you want it on a lot of builds. You can get a little block, maybe some Herald effect. If you're doing lightning damage, great. If you're not, oh well, you're wasting one point in what is otherwise very powerful. And hey, if you have a top of a tree, power charges could be useful to you, making this all around absolutely an incredible spot, an incredible value. And uh, I don't see this one sticking around if skill tattoos go core. It's just way too powerful. Then we have Ancestral Tattoo of Bloodlines. 2% increased recovery rate of life, mana, and energy shield, all of your resources, per tribe where you have an allocated tattoo. There are up to 10 tribes that you can allocate tattoos from, meaning you can get up to 20% increased recovery rate. And having 20% increased recovery rate is great for any build with overtime recovery. So if you are leeching energy shield, regenerating life, or using a mana flask, this sort of tattoo has value for you. On the other hand, if you use life gain on hit, or your leech is applied instantly, this will have no benefit because those don't have a duration, therefore rate does not affect them. Last but not least, we have Journey Tattoo of the Makanui, which grants a random keystone. And I have so many questions about this. First of all, does the random keystone get granted when the tattoo drops or when the tattoo is applied? Because if it gets granted when the tattoo drops, you get a lot of chances to buy very powerful tattoos and apply them to your build. So a keystone like Glancing Blows that a lot of people want will cost a lot. Whereas a keystone that most people aren't using or less people are using, Minion Instability, for an example, will be a lot less expensive. On the other hand, if it is a randomly generated keystone that gets applied with the tattoo, converting one keystone into another, it's going to be a lot more expensive in terms of buying random ones 
but a lot less expensive in terms of buying the absolute very best, because you'll have to buy maybe 20 of these and apply them and hope it sticks. Hopefully, these changes come alongside some improvements to the mechanic itself. Titanic shells are still very awkward to deal with, and there's some other things that encourage players to make cheesy builds and make people feel like they're kind of locked out with their more mediocre or all-rounder character, especially as you get over a thousand rating. In general, I do think the League mechanic has been pretty rewarding ever since Volupa, and I do think it's been positively received as a whole, though. So, I last up wanted to talk a little bit about the rarity. I would expect the Journey tattoos to be of medium rarity. You'll probably get most of them towards the end of your runs, and I wouldn't be surprised if you need to be over 500 rating before they start appearing. The Honor tattoos only come from winning and are offered by Hinakora. So if you're looking at something like plus one to level of intelligence skill gems, that's about the same level of rarity we're talking, and I'd guess this is going to be rare still, since its effect is significantly more powerful than any of the other Makananga tattoos. Okay, I guess maybe not all of them because plus one projectiles is also very powerful. However, it's on that same level, and while it's a defensive bonus, which tends to be underpriced compared to offensive bonuses in Path of Exile, I would not expect it to be cheap, nor would I expect it to be easy or common to obtain if you're farming it in solo self found. Ancestral Tattoo of Bloodlines, I have no idea what this could be. It could be a relatively cheap one, but it also could be a relatively expensive one. I guess this also comes from Kinokura, just because you're replacing a small passive skill and you're limited to one. And last but not least, the journey tattoo of the Makanui. I suspect the rarity, and therefore the cost, is going to be based on function. If you have to apply a bunch of them to get the keystone you want, it will be relatively more common, whereas if you can buy a specific keystone, the best keystones will be relatively rare because the pool's diluted. So I'm thinking about a medium rarity, which does fit with the other journey tattoos here. But of course, stay tuned for more information on the passive skill tattoos and updates to Trial of the Ancestors. And if you want to know more about pricing data for the skill tattoos, which ones are good and which ones you should try to farm, I have that coming up on Maxwell GG. I've been in collaboration with Grimrow to bring his and Elishar's spreadsheet over to Maxwell as a news article. If you're looking for even more content, check out my thoughts on Grim Dawn or Armored Core 6, both of those videos released today, and all of those will be up in the card and down in the description below. Before I go, a special thanks to my patrons and channel members for making this video possible. For around $5 a month, you can have your name featured just like these fine folks have. And with that said, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. I'm very much looking forward to having all of these skill tattoos added to Path of Exile and their effect on build making. I'll see you again sometime soon.